Warren Hatch joins us live now from the Capitol Hill. Uh, you have obviously participated in confirmation hearings for so many, eight of the nine current Supreme Court justices, and you supported Kagan for U.S. Solicitor General in 2009. Of course, that's a different job. Uh, do you agree with Senator Kyle, though, that her mentors, uh, Judge Mikva and Supreme Court Justice Marshall, for whom she clerked, were activist judges outside of the mainstream? Well, let me put it this way. Ju Justice Marshall was one of the uh, all-time uh, great justices in the sense that he came up the hard way trying cases before the Supreme Court won 29 of 31 cases and he was fighting for civil rights at a time when civil rights weren't as respected as they should be so regardless of the fact that there's no doubt that he was an activist judge uh, he was essential at that time at least in the sense of uh, bringing about a transformation where where African Americans would be more accepted in society and so I honor him from that standpoint but there were many other cases that he uh, that he decided where he was deciding it on the basis of results rather than what the law is and that's what the Senator Kyle was talking about let's admire the man for the great things he did but let's not uh, let's not walk over wipe out the uh, the things that really didn't make sense as a, as a, as a, as a, a, a obedient student of the, of the practice of law Senator Jeff Sessions, the ranking Republican on the hearing on uh, the committee, uh, did not rule out the possibility of a filibuster in remarks earlier before the hearing. Uh, do you think that a filibuster would be an appropriate response, uh, assuming what you know is on the record, and we know we haven't had a chance to hear yet from the Solicitor General, from the nominee, Elena Kagan, but do you think the filibuster would be an appropriate tool for Republicans, for the Republican minority to use, to prevent her from becoming the Supreme Court Justice? Well, the only people who have ever used a filibuster were the Democrats, and by the exactly, way... Exactly, against Pre Dave Fortas. Yeah, and President, uh, uh, President Obama was uh, uh, participated in, in uh, filibustering uh, judges and I have to say that I don't know of any Democrat who really wants to filibuster this nominee. And I personally don't believe the judges should be filibustered. But uh, be that as it may, I'd be surprised if anybody even talked about filibustering very often in the Republican side. The only ones who ever really done that were, uh, were Democrats, uh, including the taken. president. For lower court justices, of or judges, of course. Uh, I wanted to ask you what what issue were you raising when you, in your statement today, said that the question that you have is whether the Constitution controls her or whether she will control the Constitution. What is your concern? Well, that's the ultimate uh, definition of activism. Uh, the Constitution should be controlling. The language of the Constitution should be controlling. Uh, she uh, has cites as one of her uh, mentors, uh, Aharon Barak, uh, who was the president of the Israeli Supreme Court, who basically made that court a law unto itself. And that's not what the Supreme Court should be. Well, the well, Senator Hatcher, let me interrupt you for just a moment to clarify, sure. because uh, Justice Scalia has praised Judge Barak. This, the Israeli system is a different system, and Judge Barak in Israel has been praised as a, uh, a great visionary by no one, none other than Antonin Scalia. So isn't it a little bit unfair to pin this on her when many Republicans and conservatives, and someone who is as uh, conservative a hero as Justice Scalia, has praised Judge Barak? Well, I would praise Judge Barack too, Judge Barack too as a brilliant uh, jurist, no question about it. But if you're asking whether a judge lives within the constraints of the law, he doesn't. It's just that simple. And he has established a court over there in a very real sense that basically does whatever it wants to about the law. Well, that's not our Supreme Court. Our Supreme Court is supposed to live within the law. The uh, justices on that court are supposed to be governed by the Constitution. They're not supposed to govern the Constitution. And that's the point that I'm making. So the fact that Barack is a brilliant man is, is uh, I think, indisputable. The, the question is, does he live within the constraints of judges like uh, our justices must be here in this country? And if well, he that's doesn't, why the system is a different system. Well, it may be a different system. It's a completely different system. He helped to make it that way. Uh, I'm not. I'm not necessarily saying he's a bad person. I'm just saying, as a jurist, he would not fit on our Supreme Court. And if she admires that type of judging, and that is a judging that gets results rather than lives within the constraints of the law, she's not going to be uh, elected to this position. She's appointed for life. Uh, she should be interpreting the laws in accordance with. Uh, with the laws that are made by people who have to stand for re-election, and that's the American way of doing it, not the uh, Israeli way of doing it. 
As things stand now, from what you know about her already, from the emails that you've had access to from her time in the Clinton White House, is she likely to be confirmed? Is she likely to have your vote? Well, I like her very much personally. I, I lectured at Harvard. She came to my lecture. She was a, uh, you know, she's clearly a very nice personality, no question about it. Uh, I've got to listen to all of the hearings, and, 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 uh, and there are many things that trouble me about what she has done and what she believes. On the other hand, there's no question she's an intelligent uh, and, and uh, I think, uh, moving woman who, uh, who has to be given every consideration. My worry is, uh, can I conclude at the end that she will live within the constraints of uh, what our, ju our justices on the court should be, or will she be a, a, a policymaker on the court rather than a, uh, than a jurist? Senator Orrin Hatch, thank you so much. It's always good to hear from you.